We've got an urgent warning as cases are surging once again. So here's what's peculiar about this one though. So some government officials are letting it happen. Individuals who have been infected are being released into the public. And this is growing concern that it's gonna spread around the country. Right now, 17 states are reporting new cases. This is alarming guys. These would be the states of Arizona, California, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Louisiana, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Washington. Now, I know this sounds like a lot, guys, but believe me when I tell you that this is even expected to spread even further. How do I know that? Because the disease is spreading rapidly in sanctuary cities. Hmm, I wonder why. And guys, before we really get into this thing, all I ask is that you take one second, drop a quick like for the video. I really appreciate you guys. And I just wanna thank you so much for sharing this video on Facebook and Twitter. We all need to be prepared about what's going on. And it's not surprising to know that illegal immigrant shelters are now becoming a hotspot for these outbreaks. But what's the disease this time, right? Well, this time around, we're talking about measles. And I know it's a little bit awkward to kind of keep talking about diseases and outbreaks, even though the pandemic was around, what, four years ago? Right around the time of the last presidential elections. Now, is that a coincidence? Which actually makes this year the second presidential election in a row that we're talking about disease outbreaks that could possibly end with mandates once again. Now, to make matters worse, Hundreds are already feared to have been infected in both California and Arizona. Now, two areas that have been seeing a major shift in their borders as illegal immigrants are actively flooding in. And this is happening because Texas has thrown down the gauntlet and they're becoming way stricter with their policies. Now, measles, it's an acute viral respiratory illness. So what this means is that it spreads rapidly through the air. It's airborne. If an infected person breathes, sneezes, coughs, even talks, there's a chance that you can actually get infected so long as you're within range. The last time we heard this from the CDC was when we were forced into lockdowns and wearing mask mandates. Now, as you can probably see, cases are going up very quickly. The last few months of 2023 going into 2024, it shows that more and more people are now being affected by this outbreak. The term measles mayhem was even coined given how they're seeing a year's worth of cases in just two months, guys. Doctors are warning us as early as now because they say that young physicians have never seen a patient infected with measles. Local hospitals are now preparing for the worst because cases continue to be confirmed one after another. Now, much like the pandemic, there is a solution being provided to the American people. The solution? Ah, it's called the vaccine. How so? Well, doctors are blaming people that don't get the vaccine for this sudden rise in cases. Vaccine hesitancy has now become the norm for many Americans as some of us feel as if we've been lied to for all these years. Vaccination rates have actually dropped for the third year in a row now, which makes you think if all of this is happening because they want more people to get jabbed, because that's the message from mainstream media yet again. If you're not getting vaccinated, you are part of the problem. However, there's a different variable this time around. Some doctors and experts are now looking at what's happening at the borders, because like I said, guys, both California and Arizona, they're now seeing more cases, both of which has opened up their doors to more illegal immigrants compared to other states. Related to that, we're seeing shelters that house these people report cases as well. With low vaccination rates of other countries and shelters being overpopulated, especially in places like New York City, Chicago, it's not impossible to think that an outbreak hasn't already begun in some areas. Take Chicago, for example. They have a shelter that houses around 1,800 people. Just recently, cases were confirmed there at the Pilsen Center, two of which were children. Now, so far, 10 measles cases has been confirmed in the shelter since March. We're only like three weeks in, guys. The first ever reported cases in Chicago since 2019. Now, it's a little bit of a mystery as to why it's suddenly surging after all these years. The mayor first announced this shelter stay limit last fall, but it was postponed more than once. Now, time is up for some migrants. A move critics say will only lead to more problems. Complicating the eviction process is the measles outbreak. Since last week, 12 cases have been confirmed in the city, 10 of them at the Pilsen shelter. The mayor's office says new arrivals who show up at the landing zone and cannot prove prior vaccination or refuse the MMR vaccine will no longer be placed into shelter. It's there health officials have begun administering vaccines on the spot. 
City officials also announced today that if shelter residents are exposed to measles, the Department of Family and Support Services can put a pause on this eviction policy. Right now, we're told this is occurring at six shelters, giving city officials time to vaccinate and quarantine those residents. The CDC on their end is doing their best to help Chicago, or so they say because one of their teams went there just recently. But even with the measles issue in Chicago, Mayor Brandon Johnson, he made a shot announcement. Johnson says that they're going to continue to enforce their 60-day limit on shelter stays for migrants. He confirmed that this group could consist of around 5,000 migrants. So that's 5,000 people that he's suddenly going to move around. So you got to wonder, how many of those thousands of people are at risk of being infected with measles or have come in contact with an individual who has the disease? So Johnson confirmed that the people being evicted, they're being sent back to the city's initial landing zone for migrants, the area where people are usually received from Texas. Problem there is that this could be exposing even more people who have just come into the United States. The plan beyond that hasn't quite been confirmed. So, you know, we're not entirely sure where the mayor plans on bringing all these people after they're initially bringing them back here. He also lays the blame completely on the federal government for not providing more help to sanctuary cities. Can you believe this? Really, the problem is not letting illegal people coming into the country, not providing more support to those who are here legally. Now, of almost 2,000 illegal immigrants living in the Pilsen Center, 50% are said to have been recently vaccinated vaccinated against measles. Now with this, they're trying to remove the hesitancy that has risen throughout the country when it comes to vaccines. Many experts believe that it would be a little bit challenging to do that, especially as more and more data has come out when it comes to these drugs. So this has caused a lot of questions to be asked with Americans wondering if they're taking something that would help them rather than make them sick, which reminds me of the study that's being done by multiple professors to help raise vaccine rates. It's called the Behavioral Interactions to Reduce Vaccine Hesitancy, driven by misinformation on social media. I know they always got these long titles. Work with me. So it's a study that aims to correct our behavior, especially our hesitancy toward getting vaccinated. The term behavior intervention is highly questionable to a lot of analysts. And it's not just the CDC that's warning us about measles. You guessed it. The World Health Organization is also chiming in. So in according to the WHO, the World Health Organization, we may be facing a perfect storm of measles cases in 2024. They've actually been recording the virus everywhere, which which means that this could be another global catastrophe. Some experts, though, think that the same kind of treatment from the C-19 pandemic won't be applicable to today's society. Many analysts have predicted that forcing masks and lockdowns, they may not yield the same results given what has transpired in recent years. But still, the WHO, the World Health Organization, is again spreading this information out so that people will hopefully be convinced to get vaccinated. Now, there is one idea that we discussed briefly a while ago that I kind of want to get back to. Some experts are worried that this this might become a recurring event. The idea that we're facing an outbreak every four years. Now, this opens up the possibility of mail-in voting. Now, again, you know, these are theories that are mostly based on what's happened since we faced the coronavirus a couple years ago. But what do you guys make of all this? And is it weird that illegal immigrants are also getting the disease now more than ever? Now, as far as I know, I'm gonna keep digging into this thing so I can keep you guys updated on what's going on. Now, before I go, I just wanna thank you guys for hitting the like button for the video. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you on the next one.